Hey, Gemini. Thank you so much for coming to, uh, well, this month they're bi-weekly love readings. Um, but thank you so much for having patience with me and really allowing me to try to get everything out. Um, which I know that I've totally sucked at. So I just want to throw that out there. Um, but I appreciate you guys and I love you guys very much. So I just wanted to openly say that. Um, this should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross-watching, welcome, welcome. This can be your situation or it could be your partner's. It kind of just depends. Um, if you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post my readings. Also, too, please feel free to comment. I love reading what you write and really interacting with you on that one-on-one -on -one basis. And uh, let's go ahead and hop into it. All right. Who is Gemini's person of interest? Who is Gemini dealing with romantically right now? Who is Gemini dealing with romantically right now? Okay. Princess of Wands flew out. Probably somebody that you're highly, highly, highly attracted to. Also, too, can be any of the fire signs or any of the earth signs. So uh, Aries, Sag, or um, Leo. And we're going to also go into, like, the characteristics, right? And this can be somebody that you're really enthusiastic about, somebody that you have a lot of passion towards. Um, how does Gemini feel about this person romantically? Woo! The strength card. Okay, possibly also maybe dealing with a Leo. What is the current situation between Gemini and their person of interest these two weeks? Current situation between Gemini. Yo, chariot. There's cancer. Cancer's like, hold my beer. I'm coming through. Yo, not trying to be funny, but why does a legit look like he should have a beer in his hand? Okay, sorry. Listen, you know, I was gone for a week. And, you know, I had to come back with some type of... Uh, some type of fucker. You know this, Gemini. Okay. Um, what is the current, current block or external situation for these two romantically? Oh, hell no. Get back in here. Um, it is the high priestess. So obviously it can be a Taurus or a Cancer or something that is unknown or something that's hidden. And what's the best potential outcome here for Gemini and their person of interest? Best potential outcome here for Gemini and their person of interest romantically. Woo! Three of Wands. Yes! That is Aries. So those of you that are dealing with Aries, that is a very good sign. Top of the deck, we have the Four of Wands. So that's Venus and Aries. Bottom of the deck, we have Judgment, which is Pluto. Uh, that is Scorpio. So I just want to say this. I really do feel like there is a legit transformation that is going on with you and this person okay like there's definitely something that's transforming as far as like your security is concerned right as far as your stability is concerned you're having a level of foresight here which i think is really beautiful um i also want to say this because i do think that this is this is remotely important especially with judgment kind of coming in and uh rearing its ugly head as i like to say you know Things are coming back around. Somebody can be making a comment that actually surprises you. You know, this can be about children. This can be, you know, about, you know, family. I mean, it can be about a multitude of things, but there is definitely something that I feel like is transforming with you um, and this person. So I do want to say that. Now, as far as, as far as your person is concerned, um, because we do have judgment here, right? So this could be somebody that you're very passionate about, somebody that uh, is, you're very intense, right? You have a very intense connection. You're a little bit obsessed. There's something here about transforming your life or transforming your relationship or how you look at things. You've probably met this person when you needed something to be, you know, shaken up. I also feel like too, like this person has kind of enhanced your self-esteem. If you were dealing with somebody prior Gemini, um, and maybe it wasn't necessarily a great relationship. I feel like this person has came in and they really helped you boost your self-esteem, right? They have a very like assertive and protective energy over you. And, um, you know, I think that that's really dope. And I think that it's, it, it's beautiful. They may have possibly seen you online. They're, you know, you're highly attracted to them, obviously, as they're coming up as that princess of wands. And I feel like this is this is a new beginning for the both of you, but it's one that's kind of still forming, right? It's one that's kind of still taking, um, 
still taking place, right? It's not completely formed yet between the two of you, but it is in, it, it is in progress or process, whatever. Y'all know what I mean. Um, with that being said, though, I, I do think that it's very beautiful. I do. Um, and there is a level of passion here. Okay. Give me more information on their person of interest. Please, Gemini's person of interest. Woo. Okay, one more time. Gemini's person of interest. Why are you showing us the princess of wands here? This person also, too, right now, they may be somebody who tends to be the aggressor, but lately they've really kind of pulled back and they're being more so of that feminine energy, that energy where it's like um, they want you to come to them almost. It's like they're, they're more like receptive or passive where you're more so the aggressive right now. I do feel like nine of wands, that's definitely uh, Sag energy. Um that's, what is that? Is that Sag in, God, I'm trying to think. <sighs> Moon and Sag, I think. Moon and Sagittarius. I really feel like, you know, there's a level of attention here. I feel like you're begging this person for attention, Gemini, or they're begging you for attention. It's like, one person is very focused on, you know, moving forward and the other person's like, but wait, I'm right here. Come give me attention, please, right? King of Pentacles, possibly a Taurus or a Leo. You know, this can also be too, the fact that this person is very focused right now on their business, okay? And I'm gonna show you these two side by side because I wanna make a point to you. So here she is standing tall here with, um, you know, a staff, right? So she's very focused on doing her job, having a level of forward movement, but she's not necessarily paying attention to, you know, what's trying to hold her back or get, get the attention. Okay. And I feel like that's because it's going towards this King of Pentacles. I feel like this person definitely is somebody who is a boss type, somebody who possibly is, you know, a little bit older than you, or it also can be your same age. However, it's like, I feel like you and this person do this back and forth thing, but in reality, they're a king, you know, versus that princess of pentacles. Like there is that raw passion that's there between the two of you. However, you do have that with the king of pentacles. So there is something very solid in this person. I just feel like this person, um, your person of interest is really focused on solidifying their financial status prior to hopping into anything with you, Gemini. I'm going to be honest. And what's crazy is you do have the Ten of Cups. However, this person is very optimistic on the level of forward movement with the two of you, right? That's Mars and Pisces. So that's having a very optimistic look on how they want to take place. I feel like this person definitely, you know, feels like they can marry you. I feel like this person feels like they want to have children with you. I feel like there's a very optimistic outlook on where you know where things can go with you and them and i do strongly feel like they you know no matter what action is taken at this point you know the options are endless between you and them um let me ask really quick hold on one sec okay give me one card here for gemini one card here for gemini please one card here for gemini's person of interest Woo! that just flew out I do think, though, with the Seven of Wands, there is a lack of clarity, and clarity is needed between the two of you. So, sorry about that. Um, I do feel like there is a lack of clarity, though. I feel like, you know, um, you or this person, Gemini, are really going out of their way to have, like, fight for this, fight for the sense of what's going on, right? Seven of Wands, that is Mars and Leo. It's also about, like, Maybe this person is really, really trying to stand on their own. Maybe this person is really trying to, you know, fight that need to be with somebody because it's like they're the ones that are trying to handle things with themselves and be in the limelight in that sense. That's definitely something that is a possibility here. One more card here for Gemini's person of interest. Possibly dealing with a Libra or uh, a Cancer, Cancer Moon, Cancer Rising, Cancer Venus. Some of you are also dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer, like I said. I do also feel like, you know, um, 
this person may be in hiding or maybe you've not seen them physically in a period of time because the moon is here. And I think that once you do have that intimate interaction with them, I feel like that definitely is what restores your home or your level of fantasy. And also too, maybe they're hiding. They're actually hiding something. What the hell are they hiding? The three of pentacles. The fact that they're really working hard on providing you that level of stability. Okay, three of pentacles, that's Mars and Capricorn. Mars and Capricorn is all about having a level of structure with how you do how you do with things or deal with things, right? So for instance, I have a uh, Cancer Venus, but I also have a Mars Capricorn. So my way of showing my love is in a very structured way. It's planning things out. It's having things um, very militant in that sense. I feel like this person is hiding the fact that they really do want things to work out. They really do want, you know, there to be a level of unity and teamwork with you. They want to work with you. They want to expand with you. Uh, King of Cups, Leo or uh, Scorpio with the Four of Wands. Again, that's Venus and Aries. You know, I, I feel like, believe it or not, this person has a lot of emotions surrounding you, Gemini. Um, I also feel like this person is very persistent. They're very determined. They're very focused. They're very attached to you, which is something I also feel like you don't realize. And um, they have a lot of strong emotions and they're very loyal. That's something also that's coming in strongly here. Okay, let me move on or else we'll be on that forever. How you feel is strength. I feel like Gemini, like you're really fighting yourself right now. It's like you want to pop off, but you're trying to pull back, right? Or you're 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 busy really trying to defend, especially during this Mercury retrograde, right? Hopefully, you got, tell me in the comments, like how's how's it going for you? Because I know my Mercury retrograde's been off the fucking hook. Okay, I mean, you name it. Like I've really tried to be quiet and and stay quiet and not pop off because I already know how that goes. But Mercury's like, wait a minute, you know, they're still coming for my ass. So I don't know if it's hard right now for us to really go back and forth. It's like we're, we're being very defensive of our feelings or our emotions or being defensive of this person. We're very protective of them. Some more information on how Gemini feels about their person of interest. One more time. I don't know if that's upright or not. How does Gemini feel about their person of interest romantically? Okay. Three of Pentacles. You know, I think it's interesting because as much work as you're putting into this, they're putting the same amount of work in. Again, there's Capricorn Mars. What does Gemini feel like they're working on or what are what are these two working on? The Ace of Cups. Okay, that's a reunion. That's a potential intimacy. That's, you know, really having, you know, to one, let go of your ego or let go of yourself and having a new beginning of unity in some type of raw emotions, okay? Also to Empress, Taurus or Libra, um, you know, and I think that that's really working on, maybe you guys are working on a baby and that's paired with the Ten of Pentacles. So there's Virgo, Mercury and Virgo. Having a conversation, I feel like over these next couple of weeks, if this hasn't happened already, you or your person possibly may be traveling to see one another, okay? That's the first thing. The other thing that I do want to say, too, is um, with the Ten of Pentacles, there's a conversation about home. There's a conversation about where you're investing your time. There's a conversation on how does this logically work between me and this person? Can this work? Do I have to, you know, physically move? Do I have to? What changes do I need to make? Like, it's no longer cups, right? You have Ten of Cups, but now you have the Ten of Pentacles, so this person that's coming in or this person that is here is very solid these next couple of weeks. And I feel like you and them really, really, really do get down to the nitty gritty here about where this relationship is going. Um, what is Gemini like about their person of interest romantically? Okay. Queen of Pentacles. So this can be a uh, Capricorn or a Cancer, Cancer Moon, Cancer Venus, Cancer Mercury. You know, I feel like you like how stable this person is. I feel like you know that this person, one, can make you be the Queen of Pentacles, or two, this person can provide you a level of security, a level of nurturing, a home life, 
right? A level that has a level of structure, right? There's a, there's, there's a lot of duality here that I feel like you've thought about for a very long time. One more card here, please, about how Gemini feels about what they like about their person of interest. Okay. Gemini like, woo, Knight of Wands. That's Sag. You know, I feel like with the Knight of Wands, there's a lot of passion there and there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of passion here and it's, it's, it's a lot of action. You may like the fact that when you and this person are intimate, it's like, wow, like blow your wig back type of thing. It's also almost like out of, out of body or out of this world, like how you feel about them is like, wow, like I can't believe that just happened right? It's very unique. Like your connection with this person is very unique. And I feel like your partner is very unpredictable, but it provides a level of excitement to your life. And, you know, and it may just be this person's thought process because you do have the star here. So this, they may be an Aquarius, or you can also be dealing with another Gemini because you do have the lovers here as well. I just feel very strongly that this is something that's very unique between you and this person. Especially with the lovers, ton of pentacles, ton of cups. I mean, I think that that's beautiful. I was going to ask, what do we not like about this person? But honestly, I'm not going to because right now how this sits is dope. Ten of pentacles uh, or ten of cups, ten of pentacles, four of wands and the lovers. You know, I just feel like there is something that's ending. Whatever is being hidden right now, Gemini, and I'm going to throw this out there. All that shit is, is ending. That's going to be deaded here in a second. And I think that that happens after the retrograde is almost finished. I feel like the last couple steps of the retrograde, once that lets up, I feel like we're going to have so much clarity and understanding on what's been hidden from us. And what's crazy is I feel like if we've done the right thing and we've kept our mouth shut and we've not been petty, which is a little hard for a Gemini. Okay. I know. Um, and we've really been able to maintain our thoughts because remember, we're the goddamn magician. So manifesting comes easily for us, Gemini, because we are the ones that have all the tools to do it. With that being said, if you're having negative thoughts, not trying to go off on a tangent, if you're having negative thoughts, that shit manifests quickly, especially for us. So that's why it's so key for us really to keep our thought process in that right area. Now, the current situation is a chariot. There is some type of forward movement here, forward movement to a level of security. And I do feel like, you know, with a chariot, that is a, that is a victory, right? Uh-huh, look, nine of cups. Okay, there's Pisces. Um, and that's Pisces in, I think, Jupiter. So that's having an overwhelming sense of happiness, of joy, of fulfillment. You know, uh, there's a lot that's going on here where you feel very fulfilled. Wherever things are moving your situation, it's moving in the place where you feel really good. And here's the funny thing, Gemini, for those of you that are watching, I feel like when our love life is good, believe it or not, for Gemini, when our love life is good, everything else kind of falls into place. We expand more. We have more luck. We have more growth in, in all aspects of life when our love life is, is right. It's like, then we're not fixated on it. Um, what is Gemini's perception of the situation? Temperance. Gemini's like, listen, I just have to sit back, right? And not Sag. I have to sit back. I have to let things unfold in the manner that they're unfolding. I have to really, really, really allow, right? Because he's the alchemist things to progress in the manner that it's supposed to. Things are at a standstill right now because of that Mercury retrograde. Let's, you know, fuck the rest of the planets that's going on. Our planet is in retrograde right now, which means things are moving at a much slower pace. Like if you've tried to do something, you're like, why the fuck is it taking 13 times, right? Mercury, okay? But it's really understanding that there is a process and it is a slow process. However, there's something that's transforming here. Temperance happens when they take the um, the emperor and the empress and they strip them of their impurities and they put them together as one. And now they come up as one, right? They're no longer two separate individuals, but now they're one polished, you know, unity. Like they come out as a union. So I think for you, your perception of the situation is you just have to be patient. And I think for you, it's also about understanding the journey and that things are being healed at this moment 
And there is a very deep spiritual connection between you and this person. Um, how does Gemini's uh, person of interest, how do they perceive this situation? How does Gemini's person perceive this situation? Okay, all gifted. See, here's what's crazy, Gemini. You're giving them the time right now to really work on themselves, right? You're not pressuring them. You're not bugging them. We're not hitting them up 3 million times. Hopefully you're not, okay? If you are, stop. Okay, we're giving them the time to really transform and have a level of transformation. Now, that may be a physical transformation, but that may be a spiritual transformation, and it's one that's not being said. You, Gemini, may even be in the metamorphosis stage, right, where you're transforming, okay? You both can be transforming. So how this person looks at it, like, now I'm ready to give myself to you. Now I'm ready for that forward movement. Now I'm ready to offer what's in Pandora's box. And it's something that you've been waiting for for a period of time. And I do feel like it's a new start. I'm going to be honest. What's causing? Woo! What's causing this for? Okay. Let me ask one time. What's cause? It was a king. Of, it was a king of uh, wands. So it could be Leo. Just want to throw that out there. What's causing this forward movement? What's causing the chariot? What's causing it for Gemini and their person of interest? What's pushing this along? Why? Why? Because of the Ace of Swords. Because there was a level of clarity. I'm telling you, during this time when people are quiet, all they can do is sit there and think, right? Um, what is their clarity on? Here with Gemini and their person of interest. What is their clarity on now? What is their clarity on for Gemini? Ace of Cups. Holy shit. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. There's the potential intimacy on cl or clarity on intimacy. This person now understands where they want to invest their time. They're tired of having things be a routine where you and this person go back and forth and something's offered when it's not enough. Like there's, there's a level of clarity on the fact that there is the fool that's starting. There is a new start here and one where neither of you really know where it's going. Now, the block is the high priestess, okay? So this is kind of interesting. The high priestess can be mean a numerous, numerous, numerous things, right? One of them can be the fact that you need to trust your intuition. One of them can be the fact that there are secrets or something that's hidden. It also could be the fact that this is destiny. Something that's coming across here is that there is a level of destiny that's, that's showing itself, whether we want to admit it or not. Um, okay, what's being hidden here with the high priestess? Look, the princess of cups. I'm going to be honest, Gemini, that can be a baby. That could be the fact that, you know, because uh, the high priestess is also a, a pregnancy card. Be careful. I'm going to say this because I swear if there's Gemini's in my next, like, next month where you're like, girl, I'm pregnant. I'm going to be like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Those of you that are in the prime where you're having kids, be careful because there is a potential here for you to get pregnant. If that's something that you want or if that's something you don't want, then you should be using protection. Um, what else is being hidden here? The King of Cups. Beautiful. Scorpio, Leo. Um, it's a very fixed energy. It's something that's being offered here. There's a level of loyalty in, that comes with these strong emotions. What is the loyalty on? It's the fact that I feel like you're going to receive communication on the fact that maybe if this person is in another situation, they're leaving that situation. Mercury and Taurus are going to have a conversation with you. Hey, you know, just so you understand, I really do want to work on things being stable. I want to work on our relationship. Boom, four of wands. There we go. There's Aries, Venus and Aries. Now it's taking control of a situation. It's really driving towards, you know, that love, right? It's that sexual desire, but it's also mixed with love, relationship, and a level of beauty here. Um, I think that that's beautiful. How does Gemini feel about this? Something is being left behind, though. Gemini, whether it's you leaving a, a relationship behind, you cutting some something off, 
that you've uh, held on to very tightly for a period of time, or your partner is leaving something behind that's really uh, kept them restricted and also has almost stunted their growth a, a bit. I do want to say that. Something that's had a level of, of hold on them, something that is a very policing type of nature. Now, this can be relationships, right? Maybe somebody was in a relationship that, you know, almost like a loveless relationship where you had to break free from that in order to be with this person or this person to be with you. But that is being done. This person is doing the hard thing, but it's the right thing. Um, how does Gemini feel about this, about what's being hidden? Huh. The five of pentacles. So it's interesting because in this um, deck, the five of pentacles is, all, is about a level of completeness. So that's what's kind of interesting. It's like kind of like that you against the world type of thing. It's also like you cannot give up on transforming, or transforming the world around you and making it more uh, similar to your ideals. After all, like the world is the home of our love. So it's really, 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 and I'm just saying this, it's it's not giving up on what is to come. It's like, you know, you really can have whatever you want. It's all about your mind state. Um, let me ask one more just to make sure. How does Gemini feel about this? How does Gemini feel about this? Justice. You feel like it's fair. It also can be marriage. That also can be a Libra. Um, how does Gemini's person of interest feel about this? How does Gemini's person of interest feel about this? How does Gemini's person of interest feel about this? About what's being hidden. How does Gemini's person feel about this? It's like not wanting to tell me. They're like, no, we don't want you to know. One more time, please. How does Gemini's person of interest feel about this? Ooh. Ten of Cups. Now there's a level of attachment, okay? So again, those of you that are having babies or having getting pregnant during this time, your partner now feels like you and them are attached forever with that Ten of Cups. It's also too, I feel like, you know, your partner is really kind of owning in, Chariot, is, is, is having a level of like conquest. Like, yeah, like I did that. Yeah, this person is mine, right? Like he or she, that is now... They're now mine. I'm no longer in my head, you know, going back and forth with the fact that I don't have them. I'm no longer second guessing myself. You know, your partner now knows the direction in which they're supposed to move with you. And it's to the two of cups. So there's Cancer, Venus, Venus and Cancer. And it's because you and this person, I'm telling you, Ace of Pentacles, you know, there is a new start here and it is something that's very substantial. Those of you that this has brought enough clarity, I love you and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.